Hi, this is Mariah Gullo from Billboard, and I'm here with Natasha Bure. Hello. She's the latest contestant on The Voice. Natasha, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so much. That was Thank amazing you. last night. Thank you. Um, she's here to answer your questions. We're on Facebook Live. Please ask your questions, but first ask we're going to have a little performance. Yes. A song by Natasha. So yes. take it away, Natasha. Thank you so much. Um, this is a song I wrote um, about a year and a half ago, and um, it's Untitled, <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Say that you don't love me anymore, but how did we get here so far away from shore? Whoa, I'm drowning in a well of my own tears. Whoa. You say that we are just too far apart But we're living in the same world I thought you had a different heart Whoa, I've been losing myself all this time Whoa, so now I've got to pick up the beast to stay this strong I'm not really sure where I belong Where I belong Whoa, caught in the mess, the chaos, confusion. My heart was set on you, but now you're gone. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> I'm holding on to what's left of us. Mistakes are made and trials happen, but I will still stand tall if you promise me. Oh, to catch me when I fall. Oh. So now I've got to pick of the beast to stay this strong. I'm not really sure where I, I, I belong, where I belong. Oh, no, caught in the mess of chaos, confusion. My heart was set on you, but now you're gone. Oh, 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 oh. what happened to head over heels? What happened to a love, a love that lasts? What happened to us? What a sight we would be. What happened to the memories of us? Oh, now I've got to pick of the pieces, stay this strong. I'm not really sure where I, I, I belong. Where I belong. I'm caught in the mist of chaos, confusion. My heart was set on you, but now you're gone. Oh, oh, oh. Caught in the mess, the chaos, confusion, my heart was set on you, but now you're gone, oh, 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 now you're gone. <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm going to come sit down yes, next to you please. and hear some water. Thank you. Thank you for the acapella performance. I'm um, going to play piano with this, but... Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so you play piano? I do, but I I only play. I'm like I'm self taught. I mm -hmm. I took like two lessons and then I just never took another lesson. But I know enough where I can like create a song and I know mm -hmm. chords. But I'm not like a beautiful player. Like I I don't know if I'd ever, ever play if like I had a concert or anything. Well, I mean, there's plenty of time to learn the piano. Exactly. How old are you? I'm 18. 18. Yes. So congratulations. Like you're Thank already you. on your way. Thank you so much. What age did you know that you wanted to be a singer? Um, oh my gosh, I mean, I always loved singing, I mean, my entire life, but I think when I knew I wanted to pursue it was when I was 10 years old, um, and I started leading worship at my youth group with one of my friends, and it was her on the piano and me singing, and um, I just loved performing, and I, I just loved, I just loved singing, and, and the, the thrill it would give me, and so um, I just kind of, you know, kept pursuing it, and would do musicals, and, and um, wherever I could really perform and, and a year ago I, I kind of started writing and so um, it's all kind of you know developing in itself so yeah mm -hmm. and now you're on the voice I am <laughs> and you Same. are team Adam team Adam Woo. yes I'm team Adam it's crazy I, I noticed some similarities between how you sing and how Adam Levine sings really yes oh, do you well, know that's that? good I had never there's a bit of a crooner quality to oh my both gosh of you. that's like 
best compliment I can ever get. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the crooner type of, mm-hmm. you know, voices and vibes, so. And you also chose an Elvis song to audition I did. last night. Yeah, I did. And I noticed, um, I don't know if you were able to watch the footage, but Blake Sheldon was like, hmm? I know. And Miley was very happy with that song choice yeah. as well. But it was Adam who came in there. Yeah, I know. Thank goodness you did that. <laughs> no, I love Elvis, and the song, it's a song I've listened to for years. I absolutely adore the song, and, um, you know, it was a perfect choice for me. I love everything about it, and um, I think what's cool to those type of songs that are more on the simpler side is that you can kind of interpret it to how you want and make it your own, um, mm-hmm. and that's, like, something that's super important to me about making sure that the songs that I sing become, you know, a Natasha song and, and not I'm not just trying to replicate what originally was there right right you're trying to own it exactly yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the process of getting to the stage like oh my goodness it was it was insane um you know you wake up super early in the morning and um you're getting ready and um you're getting your hair and makeup done and then you do a couple of interviews, um, so I like I did an interview with Carson Daly, and um, I was kind of hanging out backstage with my parents. I was very nervous, and then there kind of comes like a little break where I just wanted to be away from my family, and I was like, mm-hmm. I need my time mm-hmm. to be in the zone and just do me. Um, so I did that, and I didn't see my parents until basically five minutes before I went on because they like took us to you know how the parents they go into a little room where they can watch the audition themselves and then we go to a different room and Mm -hmm. so I never really got a chance to like say goodbye um to my mom and she was passing we pass cross or we pass cross we crossed (laughs) cross excuse me um and I saw her and I just started bawling my eyes out I was so (laughs) emotional and I was just so happy that my parents could be there to support me so it was a very emotional day very very just nerve-wracking all of it yes and your mother Candace Cameron yes she's had a lot of experience in front of cameras but everybody noticed that she was freaking out for you oh my goodness yeah she's my biggest cheerleader she's so proud of me and honestly supports me with you know whatever I do and um yeah, she, I mean, she, she, it's funny because everyone's like, oh, that was the coolest freak out by your mom. And I was like, but that's literally what she does <laughs> for everything. Like, my mom is literally, like, <laughs> waving her hands in the air for every performance I do anywhere. So, um, just, yeah. And your parents are fully 100% on board with you going down that musician path. Yeah, I mean, my parents honestly have told me since, you know, since the day that I knew that I wanted to pursue this, they were just like, you are welcome to pursue whatever you want as long as you work hard and you, you know, you do it with your, your full heart. And um, m- both my parents pursued careers in which they did the same thing and just worked mm-hmm. as hard as they possibly could and gave their all. So they're like, if you want to do that, just do it right. <laughs> so It's wonderful. And just a reminder that we're live on Facebook, so if you have any questions for Natasha, ask away. please <laughs> ask away. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about Adam. Like at this yeah. point, like, are you going to get to like spend a lot of time with him now? Have you spoken to him since you were on stage with him? Yeah. So now we go into the battle rounds, which is where we partner up with someone on our team and kind of do a duet. So um, I'm really excited for people to see how that turned out. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, Adam's been really great. He's an amazing, amazing coach. Gives great advice and. Um, I mean, it's his 11th season on the show, so he knows what he's doing. and he's, Yes, exactly. So um, to have someone who really, like, knows what they're doing and also just someone who I'm a huge fan of. Like, I'm a huge fan of Maroon 5. I have been mm-hmm. since I was super little. I have videos of me lip singing in my room to Maroon 5 nice. songs with my brother. So <laughs> I was just, yeah, it's amazing to have that whole And experience. are those videos on YouTube yet? Oh, my gosh, yes, there is. There's one. Oh, my gosh, it's so funny. There's one on my Instagram. And my brother and I are, like, fighting for the camera because we both want to be lip singing. And I end up, like, smacking him super hard to get out. It's really funny. But, yeah, there is one on my Instagram. If you guys want to check it out. (laughs) Nice. And we have a question from Facebook. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, Emily asks, what kind of songs do you want to sing uh, on The Voice? Emily, good question. Um, I'm honestly open to singing any songs in The Voice. I think um, I definitely want to try to broaden my range um and try different styles um something that i love is more of like the old timey kind of um ella fitzgerald 
kind of songs, um, which is stuff that I normally don't sing, but I really love her voice, and she's um, someone who musically inspires me, so she's someone I'd love to do like a cover of or any of her songs, um, but I really love like pop alternative songs, things that I can kind of turn around and make my own, so mm -hmm. that answers your question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do you have any do you have any genres that you like to avoid or anything that's really challenging for you? The only I don't I don't know. The only the only real um genre that I just will not sing for is country music. Mm. I'm just I don't know why. I just can't I can't get on board. I'm just I don't know. It's the yeah. only one. I Even mean, though I think I think Elvis is actually can like parts of him are considered country. Yes. So that's then true. I'm like, mm. it comes but from those yeah, but I'm not like an old like. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't and, know if that you know, means. I mean, if you have somebody like Miley there judging you, like totally. you don't want to go down a road that you don't feel familiar. Exactly. With. Exactly. 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 <laughs> we have another question from Facebook. Oh yeah, a couple actually. Um, oh cool. The first one is, uh, how old were you from Sabrina or Serena? Mm -hmm. How old were you Serena. when you decided you wanted to be a singer? Serena, I was. I think I knew when I was 10 years old that I wanted to be a singer when I started leading worship. Um, I would say that's probably when I, I, I kind of knew back then that I always wanted to be like in the entertainment industry, just looking up at my mom, I knew I always wanted to be in that realm, but I don't think it was until I was 10 where I was like, singing's what I want to do. That's another question. We do, uh, Layla asks, um, well she says she's been following you for two years now and she was wondering, is there any instrument that you don't know that you want to learn? All of them. Um, I actually don't really play that many instruments. I just play piano, but like barely. Um, I would love to either learn to play, well, I mean the guitar, but like just so I could write music. But like besides that, I would love to learn either the cello or the violin. Those are two of like, I'm just obsessed with the sounds of both of them. And if I could play them, that would be a dream come true. I mean, if you learn the violin, you might have to start singing some country songs. I know, I know, true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Another question from Facebook. We do. Uh, Chloe asks, where do you pull your emotion from when you sing? Um, I think I pull, I, I pull from a lot of different places. I think I pull from when I'm singing a song and the, just the music will genu uh, genu genuinely, uh, maybe that's not the right word. It, it just, it makes me feel something and I'm, maybe I'm not sure what it's making me feel, but just it's maybe it's the chords, the notes, the progression. I don't know what it is, but I'll just pull emotion from there and how it's genuinely making me feel. And then a lot of times it's the lyrics and trying to relate them to, you know, stories in my life and how they kind of incorporate. That's like pretty much 99% of how I do it. Um, because I think when you're singing about something, um, to really make it real, you have to pull from, you know, experiences that you've had and things that have been, you know, difficult or, or exciting or, you know, anything like that. Mm, nice. Uh, another question from Facebook. Yeah. Carson asks, if you could do that with any other artist, who would it be? I got asked this Not question. Not including your duet that's coming up. Right. Oh, that one is a good one. <laughs> um, I think I, I got asked this question today, and I think that it would either be Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, or Amy Winehouse. I know that's Whoa. a lot of people, but those, those are, are some heavy hitters. Oh my goodness. They are just, I could listen to all three of those people mm -hmm. for forever. I'm obsessed with all of their voices and they've all musically inspired me. So I think that's who I would probably choose. Yeah, that's wonderful. For a duet. Yeah. One more question. Mm -hmm. uh, Joanna wants to know who is your biggest female influence in your life? I think mm -hmm. my biggest female influence would be my mom. Um, she's influenced me in many ways. I think just growing up as a mom and just, you know, her being a mom. Um, she's obviously influenced me. I think also just being um, someone who is in the entertainment industry, I think that definitely plays into what I want to do and her helping me. Um, but also just, you know, she's a woman of faith and um, encourages me in my faith also, which is super important. So um, I think in all aspects of my life, I, I, would, I would look to her for, you know, anything. Oh, that's lovely. And then, yeah. Natasha, for those of us who don't have amazing mothers like yours, <laughs> do you have any advice for aspiring singers? Yeah, um, I would say, it's like, I'm going to give advice that I would give to myself. Mm -hmm. um, I think work extremely hard, as hard as you can, if it's your passion. Um, I think really put in the time and just try to learn as much as you can, whether it be like an instrument or how to read music or anything like that. Just try to learn it. Um, and then just 
be yourself and be who you are in music because I feel like a lot of people will kind of go through, you know, times in their life where, like, people want you to be a certain way. Um, and if you're true to who you are and that's the most genuine you, that's the most appealing to other people because you're in your element and that's who you are. So I would just say work as hard as you can um, and just be yourself. Authenticity is key. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, thank you so much thank for being you. here. So Good luck. Me. Thank you. We look forward to seeing what happens on the